Pablo Gunner, Bad Batch, final season, episodes 11 through 15, which is the finale. And I'm here to tell you if the final season and the finale were a good batch or a bad batch. Episode 11, Omega gets kidnapped by the Empire, by Hemlock's people. She gets taken back to his space. Episode 12, they go find Admiral Rampart. They steal him away from the Empire because Rampart knows a way to get to Hemlock's base. Episode 13, they go to a space station that is the midway point to Hemlock's base. Essentially, it's the only way to get to Hemlock's base. Episode 14, Omega makes a plan with the other children that have an M count and are being experimented on by Hemlock's people to make an escape. Episode 15, the finale of Bad Batch, the final season. It all comes together. The kids make their escape. The Bad Batch makes their attack on Hemlock's base. It's bad. It just continues to get worse and worse and worse. Wrecker gets messed up by this crazy beast. Rampart gets captured. Omega does what she has been trained and learned this entire time. She used all, all those skills that she has learned and earned all along the way to help everybody to escape. Nala Say, Rampart even, all the clones, and then all the clones stick together. Of course, you have Crosshair, and he wants to do things his own way. He's like, nope, you know what? You guys go call Rex, and I'll stay and fight. And they're like, sorry, dude, but you don't have a chance. You know, you still got that shaky hand. You know, we're doing this as a team. Even with Wrecker messed up, we're doing this as a team. We'll go down as a team. And it was epic. And it was cr this crazy epic awesome fight with Hemlock has these other clones that seem actually more like robots than they do clones. So I think they're robots. But they didn't reveal that. It was hard. But they seem like they could have been both. They could have been androids. I don't know. I wish they would have revealed that. And that clone 99 trooper, they never revealed they never rebuild that. But it was epic all the way to the end. They all make their escape. Like, even the, the final thing with Hemlock, you know, and even Crosshair being like, sorry, I don't I don't have the shot. And, Hunt, and Hunter being like, Omega's got it. Okay, she's going to give you the opportunity. Then you take your shot. We won't miss. Perfect. The ending was superb. It was kind of sad because they do this time jump and she leaves off to go help the rebellion. So I kind of hope they do a continuation of that somehow with her, like seeing her, an animated older her being part of the rebellion. I would love to see her like actually tapping into the force and stuff. That would be also phenomenal. I will say I was slightly disappointed. We didn't get the revelation of who that clone force 99 trooper was. Because they easily, his head even slung down. I was like, hey, you could have had his helmet fall off. And then we would have seen if it was tech or not. If it wasn't, we would have been like, oh, thank God it's not tech. If it was tech, we would have been like, oh, that's messed up. It was tech, right? Even like that ending, like it would have been nice to see a, a goodbye from all of the Bad Batch to Omega when she leaves. And instead it was just Hunter. So that's my only issues that I have with it. Everything else. Well, here's the other thing. They hinted at a clone rebellion that didn't come to fruition and could have happened because they even hinted at it. Hey, call Rex. Call the clones. Let's do this. And it didn't happen. And they could have. And it would have taken another episode or two for sure. But it would have been awesome to see. And we didn't get that. So that's upsetting too. But all in all, the season was phenomenal. It's not perfect. It was slow at parts. And, and then it really picked up towards the end, as they always do. It's the middle stuff that's always weak with Filoni, it seems like. And then the finales and the intros are always the best. That being said, obviously, it's a must-see, must-stream for me. And if you're into Bad Batch, I think it will be for you too. I will say this is definitely better as a binge. I've watched this episode multiple times. I watched these last few episodes multiple times. This whole season just flows great together and is absolutely phenomenal. So it is a must-see, must-stream if you're a Star Wars fan, period.
hear it, especially if you love Clone Wars, and obviously if you've been into Bad Batch. Tell me what you thought of it. Talk nerdy to me. Check out our merch at TNTMTheShow.com, the store where you can find this merch on sale with free shipping as Mayo is our Star Wars month. But we also have X-Men, Star Trek, and Doctor Who on sale with free shipping as well. 5% of any profit that we make goes to our charity of the month, which for Mayo is National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI. So help us help them by buying some of this sweet merch or donate directly to them on any of our social medias. Talk nerdy to me.